So a quick preview of Cultura. Cultura is a six and a half year old company, about 200 people, headquarters uh, in New York City, R&D in Tel Aviv, offices in uh, London and San Francisco. We've been in the market operating primarily in three different markets. We'll talk about that in a second, but uh, in media and entertainment, enterprise and education, which is kind of the crown jewel of our portfolio. Uh, we have a strong partner ecosystem and a reseller program. And um, some of our partners are actually here in the audience. We saw earlier a presentation from Instructor Canvas, the big LMS companies, uh, startups and ecosystem partners, flash notes I saw here, Pearson, um, et cetera. Basically what we do is we provide a system that allows people to create video applications. What that means in practice is that you can have standalone applications like your own campus YouTube, private version of YouTube, or you can have integrated solutions inside say the LMS or your CMS or your publishing platforms. You know, we all use YouTube. YouTube is a great system, right? But I think that YouTube is like the public restroom in your public park. I go to my kids, uh, with my kids to the park. We all use it when we need to. That doesn't replace your private bathroom at home. By the same token, you can have an iTunes U channel, you can have a YouTube channel. You need to take control of your media destiny. Let's see a quick video of what publishers actually think about that. Maybe we can get the playhead. search through content. Kaltura combines all this power with ultimate flexibility. With our open architecture, hundreds of API services, and range of deployment options, Kaltura drastically reduces development costs and time to market. Get up and running in no time with our out-of-the-box products or leverage Kaltura's experts to tailor your own solutions. Our team is waiting to help you craft your optimal video solution. Kaltura, creating value with video. Any of that? Thank you. Kaltura offers groundbreaking live and on-demand video solutions for educational institutions, publishers, and technology companies. Kaltura allows you to better engage students and faculty, improve learning results, and enhance social life across campus. Thank you. Let's go back to the slides. So basically, um, you know, as you saw in the video, video could be used as a standalone solution or could be used as an integrated solution inside other systems. And that is true for different market segments. So when we talk about media companies, media companies for us are people that make money when media is being transacted. It could be subscription, advertising supported, uh, pay-per-view, variety of models. Uh, and some people here, especially the publisher, is going to borderline on being a media company, right? You have assets, you want to monetize them when people consume the assets. Enterprises are people that use video in order to 
sell other goods or services, right? You could be Zappos trying to sell shoes, you could be Groupon trying to sell deals, you could be Best Buy selling um, electronics, doesn't matter, but video becomes a means of communication. Education and publishers for us are people that, whose business it is educating people, whether it's a textbook publisher, digital publishing, higher ed, K-12, you want to basically engage the audience by using media as a way to communicate. And in all these three segments, and today in the audience we have people from all of these segments, media is hard because there's lack of standardization, right? There's a, an existing set of legacy systems that are not used to time-based media. There are a lot of flows where there's, say, uh, preview and publish, right? And if uh, there's a transcoding element in it, and all of a sudden it takes an hour, then your whole system uh, is going to come to a screeching halt, right? There are multiple formats, and especially when we're talking about these devices, right? You can say, oh, no problem, I'm going to get my media strategy, Amazon Web Services, cheap services, quick player. Comes a new version of Android, you press play, your students press play, and it doesn't work. So that, I think, is kind of at the basis. But beyond that, I think there's tremendous opportunity when we think about going beyond the traditional modes of publishing. It's not about content flowing one way to a bunch of couch potatoes. It's about engaging the audience, engaging the students, engaging the teachers, offering blended learning environment where media becomes a primary means, not only of delivering the knowledge, but also building the knowledge. Maybe it's an architecture class where the students are out with their iPhones shooting Maybe it's a language class where two students are communicating and submitting video for their evaluation. Maybe it's a presentation business negotiation class and we're doing PowerPoints with voiceovers and participating in that way. So there are a lot of different ways that um, this could happen. And again, when we look at the wide variety of use cases for media on campus, it could be for social learning, it could be for clubs, for activities, it could be inside teaching and learning, it could be for archives. Any place where there's human communication video has a place. The reason you probably want to have control of that media strategy is because if you don't have a unified strategy for video on campus, or if you're an L LMS company, or if you're an ed tech company, and you want to build those different flows, it becomes unruly. The multitude of devices, the need for compliance, the need for unified analytics, unified search, those are hard engineering problems to solve. And one of the things that our platform allows you to do is to kind of have that technology fade in the background. So uh, a lot of people are using it, both at kind of the state level, community college level, the IVs, the research universities. It could really be used at multiple levels. So there's a lot of resources. I welcome anybody that wants to talk about integration, whether for campuses or if you're an ed tech company, come and find me later. There's a bunch of resources. The press kind of loves it, but what I wanted to show you is this. Uh, there's a bunch of resources. So my email is up there on the board if you have questions. Uh, find me after this and we'll have a conversation. Let's use the last 30 seconds to open your apps and vote for culture and the learning infrastructure category. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>